Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to put together a quick guide on where to find the Meteoric Ore Blade Katana, another awesome katana for the samurai out there, and one that you can get early game. It has the skill of Gravitas on it, which is a skill originating from the Alabaster Lords, who had skin of stone. You thrust the armament into the ground to create a gravity well, which in addition to dealing damage, also pulls enemies in. If you want to find this one, let's go over the details. If you guys do find this helpful, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, keep it locked if you guys have been enjoying the Elden Ring coverage. So for this one, what you're going to do is firstly turn your attention to the first step site of grace. Pretty easy, right at the beginning of the game. What you then want to do is go to the right and you'll see a sort of ruins over here. This is just down by the lake, very near where the dragon will also spawn. So uh, be careful where you're running. But all you want to do is get to the ruins, jump over and work your way down the stairs. When you go down there, you can then, uh, you know, you can either sneak through, ignore the rats or take them out if you want to. But what you then want to do is turn your attention to the door at the back of the room, open that and go and interact with the chest. Now, this is another teleport chest, which of course will take you to another location on the map. It will take you over to the east into Kaelid, which of course, if you are starting the game, is a very high level area and you will get clapped by pretty much all the enemies. But it brings you over to here, which is the Celia Crystal Tunnel. Now, all we're going to be doing here is simply running through the tunnel, bypassing all the enemies. You can do it, just make sure you're not getting shot because, uh, again, it will not go very well for you. But what you want to do is follow the path you see me running right now, basically bypassing every single person, sticking to the left. There is a site of grace towards the end, so you can of course grab that as a respawn location and a future fast travel point. But keep in mind, because you have been teleported by a chest right now, you're still a little bit blocked. Anyway, what you then want to do is go over and go out into the swamp. And as you can see, this is where we are currently. And what we want to do is turn our attention to this point of the map over here. There are basically some more ruins over there. So you basically just want to run in that general direction. If you set yourself a nice waypointer, you can then follow the light beacon. Pretty easy. Just do it on horseback because, of course, you cannot walk through the swamp on foot because uh, it's not going to end very well for you. But once you get there, what you then want to do is run to the back. Do again, try and bypass all the enemies. You do not want to be picking any fights at this point. Run down the stairs and then run to the very back of the room. Again, past every single thing there and interact with the door. Doing so will, of course, give you a moment of invulnerability. So you should be able to survive any of the shots going into your back. Then you can roll forwards, interact with the chest, and you will then get the meteoric ore blade. Now, of course, organically, you could also have just gone from Limgrave and run over the border and then kind of explored over this way. But if you are going from the beginning of the game and you don't want to go trekking too far, this is probably the most direct route. The Orblade Katana has a requirement of 15 strength, 14 dex and 18 intellect. So if you guys did grab the Moonvale Katana, this of course is something else you could use alongside it. Admittedly, dex is not the primary scaling attribute here, but just keep in mind if you are sort of uh, using the Moon Veil, maybe this could give you another option. But either way, it looks pretty cool. It's Black Blade with red sort of like meteorite elements in it. So it looks very ominous. And of course, if you are a samurai and you like your katana, then this is a good pick. Hopefully you guys find that helpful. Any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to know how to get the Moon Veil katana, be sure to click this video and keep it locked for plenty more.